Hi, I'm Rayal Hamilton Romeo, and this is Real Talk. A few days ago, I saw a tweet from Jamel Hill about an interview exchange between Abby Phillip, the anchor of CNN Newsnight, and Cameron, a New York rapper, concerning Sean Diddy Combs' apology video in response to the surveillance footage depicting him violently assaulting his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Now y'all already know I got questions. I get that you wanted to speak with someone within the hip hop industry who may have close ties to or be aware of Diddy, have worked with him, etc. But Cameron was not the right person. Check all of his previous TV interview tapes. You set your anchor up for failure. If you did not have a viable guest for that final segment, why did you pivot to another topic or take a different approach to covering the Diddy news? Again, I'm asking, were you not aware of Cameron's reputation with mainstream media interviews, especially the live ones? You set your anchor up for failure. Bruh. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I get that you have a certain perception of mainstream media. I get that you don't like people wasting your time. And I get you don't like people coming at you crazy. And I get you've been in these situations before. But you ain't have to do sis like that. That's straight foul. If you didn't want to speak on the topic, there's nothing wrong with declining the interview and telling the booker at that point in time why you were declining. You don't go on national television with the capability of being seen internationally and make a mockery of Abby Phillip and her platform. She is one of very few black women on television. That's not right. You know the deck isn't stacked for her the same way it is for Bill O'Reilly or Anderson Cooper or others. Stop it. You're lucky that she's such a professional that she didn't match your energy and give you a taste of your own medicine. I say this with love. I appreciate that CNN has a certain culture. I appreciate that you are a black female anchor and you kept your composure and tried to make the best of a bad situation. But sis, Cam is a not the type of guest that you can interview with the typical CNN approach. I love that you're a consummate professional, but once you saw Cam get an irritable, you should have code switched and tried to professionally match his energy. This way, he wouldn't have come at you in the same way that he comes for other cable news anchors. I hope you're not embarrassed by that interaction or that exchange because you have nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed about. While many people have been saying that Cam embarrassed or humiliated Abby, I don't see it that way. I did some digging and I found his explanation on his platform about why he did what he did. You call me on CNN for the bullshit, I'm gonna give you the bullshit. I don't know why they, they didn't watch 60 Minutes. They ain't watch Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> they have invited me up to Fox CNN 60 Minutes. Y'all already know what the resume is with them shows with me. And after hearing his reason for that performance, it is he who should be embarrassed. In the world of media and public relations, authenticity, preparation, and mutual respect are paramount. The incident between Abby Phillip and Cameron serves as a stark reminder of these principles. While it's important for media outlets to vet their guests thoroughly and ensure a good fit for the segment, it's equally crucial for guests to approach interviews with a sense of professionalism and respect for the platform that they are on. This exchange also highlights the delicate balance required in handling live interviews, particularly with controversial figures. Abby Phillips' poise under pressure is commendable and serves as a model for maintaining professionalism in difficult situations. At the same time, Cameron's behavior underscores the importance of guests being mindful of their conduct when representing themselves, a group, or a larger body on television. Ultimately, this incident offers valuable lessons for everyone involved in the media landscape. By learning from these moments, we can all strive to foster more productive, respectful, and insightful conversations in the future. For more PR commentary, make sure you're following me at Real the Publicist. Make sure you like this video, drop a comment below, and feel free to share it with a friend.